hello la de deo <laughs> hello guys welcome to my channel this video is about what i eat in a whole week on intermittent fasting and i was following a 24 window meaning that i fasted for 20 hours and i had a four hour window in a whole day which is 24 hours to get my meals in and yes i definitely want to show you that intermittent fasting is not starvation you'd get to see that soon Good morning guys um, I hope you can hear me the birds are really loud this morning it's Monday morning and this week I want to show you guys what I eat on well I'm on intermittent fasting and how much weight I'm going to lose I want to carry you guys along so that you see it practically um, I wake up usually earlier than normal to normal means earlier than when my family wakes up to um, what's it called workout and that's because I don't want disturbance so it's about, it's not 6.30 yet, it's almost 6.30 and I'm up, Mondays are my weigh-ins, so people are passing by and watching, looking at me vlog, Jesus. Mondays are my weigh-ins, so I'm about to, I already did actually, check my weight and um, measure my body, like to see if I've lost inches around my body and I do this on Mondays. Um, I was supposed to meal prep yesterday, but I didn't. I was filming recipe videos and all of that. So today, I will meal prep. I will plan my schedule. And um, and I'll also plan my workout activities. Because every week, I like to switch it, things up a little bit. So, yeah, here we go. This is my life. And um, let's see what I eat in one week. I'm Nigerian. If you didn't know, by the way, welcome to my channel. I live in Abelkuta, Nigeria. And that's where I'm filming from. So most of my diet is going to be consisting of Nigerian things. I haven't made it yet. I have not made my meal prep yet. So I don't really know what I'm going to be having this week. But we shall see. <laughs> I have to give a shout out to my coach. Um, Zins gets fit on Instagram. She's the one that walks me through it every time. So I'll, I'll make my um, supposed meal prep or meal plan before I actually prep or buy the things and then I share it with her and then she looks at it and critiques it and then she sends it to me she has her meal plan too but me I'm very experimental with eating so that's hence you know my own style but yeah thank you so much coach if you're watching this this week um, we hope to achieve a few things um, the thing is with weight loss if you don't have goals you're not going to achieve anything okay so i introduced abigail to you last week so she helps me measure some parts of my body that i will be documenting since week one so my thighs my arms my lower belly and then my middle belly you see we have different bellies <laughs> you know how they say that thing like man proposes life opposes i, I don't even know the phrase man proposes God of, I don't even know, but you know, we plan some things and then life happens. So let me show you the time. All right, let's not talk. Can you see? So it's 4 33 in the evening, and my window, eating window, starts between 3 to 7. And I woke up because I was sleeping. Why was I sleeping? I mean, I'd, I'd worked until like 2, I slept like at 2 in the afternoon because the pain was unbearable. So I'm having menstrual cramps. Um, don't worry, don't tell me sorry. <laughs> it's um, a normal thing. But um, it was unexpected. I've had cramps where I just wing it. But this one was just... This one was just like, Hello! You are still a woman. It was painful. Um, it's less painful now because I've used medication. And um, usually I like to sleep through when I use medication because it helps me to not feel the pain while I'm sleeping and let the medication just do its thing. So I did use medication without eating. It's not, that's not good. Please don't do that. Get expert advice. The pain, I was in too much pain to get any expert advice. So that's why I... Um, 
didn't have anything i was so excited when i started documenting this in the morning i was so pumped up after i had my workout i was saying oh it's gonna be great i'll show you my meal prep today blah 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 so every monday after my weigh-in i have a meeting with my coach and um, i have the multilarious meeting this week because today after we spoke um i told her that i'm documenting this week um, I'm not really happy about what my scale is saying because based on what my scale is saying I didn't lose anything. In fact, I think I added like one pound or two But the inches are great and I look great, but uh, she said something. I think let me put her She said your scale people lie the scale does it. So your skill the skill is your ultimate truth that's the condition that I found myself in and just trying to be as realistic as possible um, okay Abigail is bringing my first meal of the day a lot of times I would like to be creative and wing it there's no time to be creative today I just know that I need to eat I'm not even hungry but I know that I need to eat so guys this right here is my first meal it's not even up to the bowl of oats but it's oats oats and me yeah, i like my oats milky and sugary but coach said just a little honey if you have to just a little honey to take it from being bland to take it away from being bland i'm out of honey so i have to use sugar i'm sorry coach Open so i added very little sugar and then some milk i'm sorry i know i'm not supposed to and then some water because i like the consistency to be not too thick that's how i love my oats milk so guys i just got done having my oatmeal and i drank some water it's making me feel cool like my belly almost hurts but not too bad um so yes that being said i wanted to mention a few things when you're trying to lose weight or you're on a weight loss journey and you have a family my pastor's wife if you haven't seen that video you should check it out um and i said that to say so that when i tell you the amount of people in my house you will not be shocked there are nine people total in my household. If I count a dog, it will be ten. Um, so, and these people have to eat. I give two meals a day. Even me and my family, like my husband and my daughter, we eat two meals a day. Um, and then we can snack once. So, that's one of the main triggers of the things that make me cheat or make me eat something else that's not on my meal plan. I can take a spoon from Zoe's food, I can take a bite from Joanna's sandwich, something like that. So, what am I doing about it this week? Because I'm being very disciplined with you. What, can I, what am I going to do about it? So, the first thing would be to prepare their meals ahead of time and have like a timetable for them. Um, my girls in the house, my senior daughters, they are learning how to cook a lot. So, a lot of things they can take care of by themselves. For instance, if there's stew in the house, they can boil rice. If there's soup in the house, they can make gari, semo, eba, and all of that. So I make a timetable, um, and that's how it's going to help me. Then another thing is that I'm a YouTuber. I make I don't have to make any recipe video. Why? Because I have a lot of recipe videos in my hard drive that I'll just edit. So it will not hinder my consistency, but I will prevent myself from cheating or taking a bite. Can you guys see this temptation? Can you see the temptation? He bought corn for everybody, including me, even though I am on a diet. And this week, I'm being very strict with myself. So this time, I said, nah. It's almost seven. My window is almost closed. No plan for what to eat. No plan whatsoever. Because I've been on my laptop working. And that's just the reality. And that's why it's important to meal prep. So... Now they're going to go and warm up one wrap of my mind for me. I, I usually would have stuff in the freezer, but I mean, by the time they finish one minute, and hi, Saki boy. Oh my god, serious. Okay. You want to jump? <laughs> by the time they warm up the moi moi, I just hope my window will still be. So I'll show you guys what I'm eating, but that's my second thing to eat, and I'll drink a lot of water, and I'll be fine. Meal prep or oh, meal prep guys is very important so that you will not be stuck like This is my second meal for Monday and it's just one wrap I had. This other one was for Zoe. 
they used to help me too much in my own food if i took only one she would eat most of it so that's why i had that yummy 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 we're done with my dinner i'll show you what they're having for dinner not as i'm bothered but because i'm very full day one done this is what they're having for dinner and they made it themselves so semo but I made the soup and stew, so the soup is um, a way to and then stew, fish stew. Hi guys. Say hi. It's like past 1 a.m. I'm recording what I eat in a day. I'm about to drink some, some water and medication, but see guys, I'm in so much pain. The cramps. I didn't plan that this would go like this and I didn't plan that I was going to talk about cramps. Don't ask me why this one is awake. Why are you awake? Why are you not sleeping? See, this is the issue of lockdown. Lockdown. This is what lockdown can cause. I have to go and make her sleep. I've been working, I've been in meetings, but I took a nap in the afternoon. Oh yeah, she took a nap in the afternoon too, but nonetheless, she'll be sleeping. She's asking me for pepper pig. I feel like drinking some Zobo and taking my medication. Um, I don't know if I opened the freezer. I don't know if my hand touched the Zobo. Or if you touch the water but i know i need medication because i'm in so much pain so let me go and take medication so why are you awake i guess i fell for the zobo and i'm having it with my medication in my part bro cup good morning guys so today is tuesday and i wanted to just start today with you guys i woke up earlier and did my personal devotion um, and since then I've been working, I think I woke up like at 5.30 Yeah, and I slept really late as well It's now 6.44 and I need to go and do my workout before it's time for general devotion I feel better in terms of cramps, I don't really have so much of it right now And I just pray that the whole day goes by without me having it I'm going to go change for working out and I'll see you guys I don't know, after I work out Okay guys, so this is the meal plan I worked on for my 7 days um, intermittent, disciplined intermittent fasting. Consider this a warning, if you want to do this, plan ahead, don't be like me, plan ahead. After I showed my coach um, my meal plan, everything was good except the smoothies, she took the smoothies out because a smoothie is considered a whole meal, so I was trying to have a meal for a snack. So she caught me right there and then. <laughs> Shout out to my South African subscribers. Spirit tune, joyous celebration. I'll talk to you guys soon. Um, I spoke with my coach. I already knew. <laughs> Some of these things I was overdoing it. She said if I really really need a snack, I can have one boiled egg. If I don't feel like having something fruity, or I can have a slice of watermelon. Um, Friday looks great. Um, yeah, looks great with a green apple as a snack. Saturday, but I have to be very careful with portions. So I will show you guys how I portion my food. I'm not just going to show you the food. You know, I'm going to you know I'll, I'll do the extra work for you. Um, Friday green apple, oats, green apple. Grilled fish with steamed vegetables. So if I make anything today that would um, be enough for Friday, I will just keep it in the freezer, which will be like a meal prep. So everything I'm doing, anything I make fresh, um, you can just keep the recipe or the idea and you use it for a meal prep. Do your meal plan Saturday, then do your meal prep on Sunday. Please, I beg you. Um, yeah, so if any of these things inspire you, you can include them. And if you're not too experimental with eating or cooking, you can just make two main items and then have smoothies, you know, in the middle or just snacks. I say just snacks. Oats and stuff that you don't have to make. Yeah, that's how it is. It's not too difficult, I hope. Um, and it's very realistic. So my people are having spaghetti this morning and I'm upstairs working. Like, I can't even tempt my life. They've learned a lot from me, from all these cooking videos. They're always hands-on when I'm cooking. Just that you guys don't see them in the background. So they've learned enough and I like to allow them to experiment. Um, but when my husband wants to eat, I make it a point of duty. If he's not eating what they're eating, which most times he doesn't, I make it a point of duty to make his food. So if he wants bread and egg, I'll fry his eggs. Like, I don't, I don't play with that. 
nobody can just cook for my husband or stuff for my husband so yeah that being said i'm going to get to work i all oh, i'm always working guys <laughs> i'm always working so i do consultations for people who want to start youtube channels or people who um already have channels that they want to grow it or people who have content online but are not the contents are not monetized on their behalf so most times i have a lot of clients and i'm busy not a lot you know but i'm always busy you know because that's what i'm passionate about helping people succeed like i even want you to grow more than me like i even want you to have like a million subscribers i want you to just fly that's where i get fulfillment i've talked a lot okay let me face my work good afternoon my people so i want to show you how i make two different things that should have been in my meal plan that i would have meal prepped but um life happened that i did not meal prep so in case you want to just in case you want to um, use this video as inspiration what you can eat to lose weight that's going to be yummy.com i'm making two different things that i'm going to show you um, but today is tuesday i'll save some of them and i'm going to be eating them during the week along Making some cabbage fried rice. I'm using cabbage, sausage, uh, mixed vegetables, some peppers, red and green, some chicken, onions, pepper flakes, seasoned powder, um, ginger garlic paste, salt, teriyaki seasoning, um, teriyaki sauce rather. And I'm just going to fry the vegetables, add the chicken, very little amount of oil. And the reason I'm using cabbage instead of rice is because I want to just cut down on my carbs. I'm not on a strict diet. I could have used rice. Although my coach advised me to as much as possible to cut down the carbs if I can, but I'm not on keto, none of that. So, um, but I just did um, cabbage so I can get a ten sense of eating fried rice, and it tastes really amazing, guys. I stir fry this until it's reduced like this, and I just enjoy this most likely with boiled eggs. <laughs> Is this Tib or Nupe? I think it's Nupe. So shout out to my Nupe subscribers. I like music from all over the world. So we're done with the first one. I hope you can hear me. I will show you both of them later. But this is the next one I'm about to work on. Don't worry, I'm going to show you how I make it. But I just want to tell you that all of this is because I want you to see how I make the things that I eat. The meaning of this song is I have a very big God and he's always by my side. If you know that song, let me know. Shout out to Rachel Yisa. Thank you very much, ma, for this song. God bless your ministry. Let's get back to cooking. The next thing I'm making is a forero or just steamed vegetables. You can use spinach. I use a fortete. Some fish, some smoked fish, some crayfish, seasoning powder, salt onions pepper mix for more and iru and just a very tiny little amount of palm oil i fry the onions and the iru then i'm going to be adding the smoked fish for more just a little bit of the crayfish and then i'm going to add the pepper mix this pepper mix is been blended obviously and boiled i usually like to have this handy in my freezer so that i can easily whip up anything and i find this very useful and it cuts down my cooking time a lot so i added some crayfish and crayfish bouillon powder i like to use that when i'm making a foil and then some salt this is not a recipe video guys i think i have an foil recipe video um it's more detailed and i'm just going to now add the vegetables and stir this vegetable would you know release its own juices and i like the juice if you don't like the juice then you allow it to you know fry until there's no juice or cook until there's no juice but i actually like the juice and this is it this is what i made is you know see one two three four five packs and this is how i pack them this is the measuring cup that i use okay so i'm done and i want everybody to say hello let's hi hello. Hi. They are the ones that make it happen because I can't. Um, it's a lot of work putting up the tripod and all of that. But some of them are learning. They want to be YouTubers. Some of them already have channels, you know. So I'm happy that we're doing this together because it's a learning opportunity. And so it's win-win. Um, so there goes the meal prepping or meal prep. And um, I'll see you guys when it's time to eat because it's not even yet close to three and cooking all of these things i'm ready to eat but so i've taken a few spoons if i remember that i was supposed to show you guys i was starving and just because i made the two today i wanted to have a taste of both but both the measurement was still 
not more than 250 grams the thing on my meal plan is oatmeal but we're on lockdown and i didn't see anywhere around me to buy oatmeal they realized that we were out out until like this morning and it was too late so tomorrow i'll go shopping and i'll buy oatmeal but i'm having so i'm having pap i don't even know if my coach approves of pap but it's not a lot and I don't even have honey to sweeten it. Well, and this is if you don't know what this is, this is like custard, but it's um corn. Guys, it's Wednesday. Oh my face! I have a face leak. Way past three, I was getting my head. Um, I'm going to be having oatmeal. I went to the market today actually instead of pepper soup. So that was on my. I hope you can hear me. That was on my meal plan. No, it's the south. Sorry about the noise guys, so at this point I bought oatmeal, I bought honey, so that's what I used to sweeten the oatmeal and yeah, that's what I had for my first meal on Wednesday. So guys, sorry it was a bit noisy the other time, there's so many people in the house. Um, I'm done eating my oatmeal, I'm about to make the soup that I'll be having later today, um, but I'm also going to be making jollof rice, but I'm not going to have out of jollof rice. Remember when I cheated with Zobo, my coach said I can actually have Zobo but without any refined sugar. See, I've not even said I've not even said anything. See, see. Why? I'm about to eat my second meal of the day and I'm here. Say hello. They want to hear from me. They always want to hear from me. Hello, <laughs> So I made some pepper soup, fish pepper soup, and that's what I'm having for my second meal for Wednesday. Guys, we're celebrating. I don't even know what time it is. Everybody has had dinner. In fact, only for us to find out that my first client. We just found out that Adiola Fire will hit 400 k subscribers. On YouTube, so tell the fact. It's all the fact. So I'm celebrating. Where are my girls? Oh. Where are the girls? Oh. Yeah. Where is the double? Show me your double. Yeah. Show me your biscuit. Show me your biscuit. Show me your biscuit. This is so fun. I'm going to drink out of the double. The Bible says that you should rejoice with those that fell apart. Rejoice! Penny! Penny! So, coach, I'm sorry, I'm gonna just drink some Zobo. I'm not gonna take this kit. But we're vlogging all right. So, Chet, congratulations, Adiana Fayou. We love you. So Wednesday was a really stressful day for me because I went to the market, I got a lot of catfish so instead of making all of them into pepper soup I made some light stew that I could also use instead of pepper soup and the difference is just that it had tomatoes and peppers in it's it. It's Thursday 7th of May and 3.35 p.m. My eating window is 3 to 7. Yeah, this is what I'm having for my first meal. It's the vegetable I made the other day and I'm having it with one small plantain. It's boiled. I wanted it to be on rye, but man, the one I have is already right in, and as you can see, and I have my my body here waiting for me to pass him some fish or anything that gets his way. After service, mango. Good evening, everybody. It's still Thursday, and I'm having mango as a snack. Um, that's because Fiji is about to go and for gas. Gas finished while they were making their dinner, and I have to warm up my dinner. Come and go, come and go. Come, okay, come and say hi. Thank you for blessing us with the word. What a word. Man. What a word. Oh my goodness. He preached about fellowship. Okay, get into light. <laughs> Just be refined to fill the gas. If not, I don't know. Yeah. They will drink garlic and or drink oh. bread. I don't even know. But that's why I'm having the mango. Just in case it doesn't come back before my window. Oh. Fingers crossed. Oh, let's the go. gas is here. I just had okay. Gas came on time. Just had a blessed oatmeal. I shouldn't have had that mango. My stomach is too full now. But I'm sorry, coach. Hmm. Guys, it's Friday and I forgot. I told them to get me the camera bag. But see how far I've gone with my food. Before I remember that, I did not show you. 
I'm having, I have a picture because I have to send the food to my coach to show her what I'm eating. So I'm going to insert the picture here. I'm having catfish stew or catfish soup, light soup, and um, some like sweet potato. I don't know if you have noticed, but I'm not following my food like meal timetable, but I'm following the plan. It's two different things. So if you can, because I just like to go with what I feel like having. I don't want to feel like because I'm on a diet, I must eat that. And I don't want to just have two options or one option. I want to be able to at least say, oh, I, I don't really feel like cabbage fried rice. Let me just do pepper soup or let me do light soup or, you know. So that's why my meal plan is a guide. And um, I still eat the meals in my meal plan, but not necessarily at the time. So I just wanted to point that out. Um, I don't know yet what I'll be having for dinner. I had um, oats yesterday and I almost regretted it because my belly was so full. I don't know. See, you don't have to eat when you are full. When you are full, stop. I was so uncomfortable. It took me so long to fall asleep. I'm not doing that tonight. So I don't know what I feel like eating yet, but depends. It depends. It depends on how I feel like another that, but I'm not trying to get stuck. Guys, it's 6.30 and this is what I'm having for dinner. It's um, I think I made it in this same um, week and I think I showed you guys how to make it. It's the um, cabbage fried rice. So this is my measuring container, 250 grams. This egg, I could have had it as a snack, but I just decided to have it with this, not as a snack by itself. So my coach told me that you can have eggs, you know, just by itself in between meals. But I'm happy with this. All right, I'm showing you like this because it's to scatter, so I don't want it to scatter. That's it. Is it not beautiful? The scatter is away. You see, guys, this is my portioning is not right because I always have help. But look at this scattering. That's what I wanted to show you before I did it. Do you want to say hello? Say hello. Teriyaki cabbage fried rice and an egg. Lovely, 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 lovely. Mm. What do you say? No way now when she wants something, you say I need I need one more. My mama is warming up. That's why I always have it in the freezer. But mama is not something you can just make. Okay. Good morning. I hope you can hear me because there's so much noise. Generator, music, talk, TV, everything. Um, of course, it's not time for me to eat yet, but I just finished making breakfast. So let me show you guys. See, Maria is trying plantain. They're going to ask plantain. Look at that, guys. Can you cook this kind of food and you know it out of it? The answer is yes. Yes, you can. Because look at me. I made this big old pot of rice and beans and I didn't eat out of it. Rice is my favorite food by the way. Um, but then it just, it's about the mind. If you can get your mind. I, and I don't feel like I'm punishing myself. So I put it in this big warmer. And of course there's people that will help themselves to the bottom of the pot. <laughs> so guys, Fantastic Favor put my video on community tab. And let me show you what happened. I, my channel has about 55,000 subscribers. But most of the subscribers I have maybe like 90% or more <laughs> came from just one video that um, viral video that I did if you don't know it, you can look for it on my channel but that particular video is over 4 million views right now most of those subscribers came from there and because my channel is not about that I just did that one as an experiment but you know I believe that all things work together for good so my views because my, most of my contents are not like that they don't really come back because that's what they're looking for like home remedies for facial blah 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 but my channel is lifestyle i talk about marriage relationships um love food <laughs> of course um what else faith and um just everything about my life recently my weight loss journey so my views don't correlate to my subscriber counts and um that was the reason why I usually uh, would hide my subscriber counts because 
I don't want to give you guys headache. When somebody comes to my channel and sees 55,000 subscribers, it's like, um, but why are the views in the hundreds? Like, I don't get it. Well, that's what it is. It is what it is. Um, but I put it out because I've accepted it. Um, I mean, those people came to my channel, and even if it was one video that made them sub subscribe, they are subscribers, and that's how it works. So I'm grateful and I'm thankful for the 5,100 subscribers that I have. Um, but this happens. So my videos are usually about the average is about three to five hundred views. Can you imagine <laughs> per video? But this is what happened after fantastic people shared my video so let me show you my channel so this is what my channel looks like sorry i think my laptop is stained a little bit and that's from the keypad now this is the video and the video has three i mean 931 views 931 views because fantastic because fantastic favor shared it so this is a must try my people chai please if you finish making it bring it over to my house 26 likes a comment look at this was my comment because this is really how i felt i was over the moon i said thank you for sharing and to jessica god bless you you made my day guys please try this recipe you will love it and i had a few comments and they really came out and they loved it almost a thousand views on one video and that is amazing i have a target of what i want the average view per video on this channel should be because let me tell you guys for every single there's no single, there's no video on this channel that is not thought about except maybe the one that has the most views which is very hilarious that's crazy that one i promise you i was just home bored seeing a few videos on youtube i was like what is this let me try it and i tried it so it was just experiments but anyways i still consider my youtube family a very small close-knit family even though we're 55k um, I still consider it a very small family like I know most people that comment on my videos and I know them even by name and some of them by face if they have um, a profile picture but I just want to say thank you to Fantastic Favor please help me say thank you to Fantastic Favor in the comments I wanted to just say that I'm doing some work on my laptop and I just remember that I wanted to say that in this particular vlog um, as far as what I'm eating um, I showed you now what I made for breakfast slash brunch for the fam but I've had um, about three bags of this this morning. And this is one I just had now. So I'm just working on my laptop. I'll see you guys when I eat at at three. Thank you so much, fantastic people. And to Jessica, I love to all the beautiful children that you have and your amazing husband. God bless you. Guys, it's 452. Happy also day. Saturday. Let me show you what I'm eating. I'm eating late because we're taking pictures for PJ's birthdays. 4.52 okay guys saturday first meal of the day remember this a uh, measuring cup show you yeah can you see that now this is a furry roll some plantains and fish ideally guys everything i'm supposed to be eating is supposed to fit in that container but as you can see it's just the effort that's in there but then ah, i can't come and kill myself abby Oh my god guys, I don't know if you can see my eyes are looking weird. I have a slight headache because today has been very stressful. I'm out here working after eating my first meal for the day and then my husband sends me this gift. Coach, I'm eating this one. But I'll not tell you. I'll tell you. <laughs> so guys, I'm still outside and I wanted to show you my dinner before um it gets dark it's 6 51 and i'm having oatmeal i like this the consistency i like my oatmeal and i i, I always say i seasoned it i sweetened it with honey and i'm having one boiled egg and then some water before seven happy sunday hello guys it's sunday um service is over i don't even know what time what time is it it should be like almost 12. service was over since like 10 um, but we had leaders meeting I made breakfast and I made the yam porridge. I'm about to serve them. For me, intermittent fasting is not time to eat it. I'll still show you what I eat, but let me show you what I'm serving them for brunch because it's like 12. So, guys, this is what I'm serving my family for brunch. Okay, if you don't know what this is, it's yam porridge and I incorporated vegetables, uziza and ugu, and then you have some fish and very little vegetable oil. Now, now it's tiger nuts. I swear to God, you guys. 
guys, if you have if you have a, if you have cravings, like if you always want to get that person to I'm fine yeah. and I just want to be walk. Because that thing somehow gives you some form of energy. It's so addictive that you just keep getting and eating it and eating and you don't want to stop. And thankfully it doesn't have a lot of calories. So that is one okay. that is one thing that has worked for me though. But I don't know oh, if it's going to keep from always going to snack. So I decided that you know what? Since I like to snack, I'd rather just surround mm-hmm. myself with healthy things so that I do not mm-hmm. to stop here. That makes oh, sense. What's your oh, method? I like, I like your method. I like your method, but now it's even if I if I like when people pass out to keep in the main meal, I still want to eat something else. Mm-hmm. My mouth is shut. It must keep moving. I don't like feel is different. Like, 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 I always like to believe there are different types of people in which world. There are people that, people that all they want is a, if a meal, you understand? Yeah. So, once you understand the way you are, yeah. then you know, then you know. The time is 3.25. 3.25, and that's when I'm breaking my fast. I don't know if you guys can see it. I've been begging me for my phone, so let me just do that. So I'm just about to eat. I just watched, not just, but it started at one. CC and me and Delicious, um, Winifred for um, Delicious Food. Their Instagram live session was amazing. So yes, thank you so much CC and me and Winifred from Delicious Food. Not that you guys watch my channel, but I still have to acknowledge you. Thank you. You guys are such great inspiration to me, specifically CME, especially because she incorporates every not everything but most of the things that my channel is about and i love her for it i like that she's a pioneer and i feel like she's a youtube living legend anyways let me get to my food i still have makeup on for me you know sunday sunday flickness this is my food i'm having sweet potatoes and pepper soup this pepper soup has a lot of vegetables as you can see and when i was making it i used uziza so this is not tently this is uziza and it's been in the freezer that's why some parts are broken but yeah i'm eating pepper soup and sweet potatoes come on eat and my last meal in this seven day show me what you eat video i'm eating um it's sunday night and i'm having some ewedu soup and some light stew with catfish and i have a video on how i make ewedu on my channel so be sure to see that there you go guys a week in my life showing you everything i eat for intermittent fasting Thank you again for watching. I wanted to share a few pictures. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Again, remember that the meal plan is a guide, especially for me. And this is what I find that's just realistic. Maybe it's because we're on lockdown. I don't even know. Um, also, knowing your why. Why are you doing this? So for me, that's what has sustained me. Um, I have a video about my weight loss journey so far. I started intermittent fasting about five weeks ago and I love the results. Can you guys see? It's amazing. If you're not following me on Instagram, please do. That's why I post pictures every day after I'm done working out. And um, when I also post pictures of what I eat at the moment. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. Send me an email. I'll be happy to hear from you. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, be the best version of you.